Hi guys, this is Dave from Dave's Vintage Apple Tech and uh, I did a video yesterday of uh, rebuilding the battery pack in the uh, PowerBook 1400 and uh, anyway I encountered a problem. Uh, I have voltage on it but the computers don't recognize it, they don't see it. So what I did is um, I took the case back off of it, there's nothing in here and uh, this is the battery out of my other one. This is the one that's in pristine condition, my other uh, power book. And if you notice, this is a 3300 watt hour battery, where the one that we're working on is actually a 30 watt. So um, I'm going to show you, I've already cracked it open. Now I'm going to show you guys when you take these cases open, okay, there is a particular way you want to do it. This first one I did, I didn't need to be as rough with it. So really it's pretty pretty easy. You see these little tabs right here? You got to pull them out far enough to where you can, that clears. So when you, when it clears, you get your finger in there and, they, and these are glued in just a little bit. There's just a little bit of adhesive on it. But what you do is you pop it up there and then you work your way down and then you go on the other side. Uh, you can just keep on coming down. Just be careful not to break it. Take your time. And then, like I said, this comes apart easier because I've already had it apart. And then you just, it opens up like a clamshell here, like this. So you get up like that, okay. And there's two little keeper pins here on the back here too, these two here. So if you want to put it on its side, a lot of times that's easier. And, and now we've got it separated. And I'm going to show you here what this looks like here. And the reason why it's sticking is because there's some adhesive on the sticker there. So you notice uh, this guy looks a little different. Okay. And uh, we're going to pop it out of the other side of it here. And again, it's a tight fit. You have to kind of persuade it to come out of there. And we'll, we'll get it out of here in just a second here because we don't want, we don't want to break that board that's in there. And you notice on the label here, it says it is a 4,000 milliamp hour battery. And you notice the cells are a little different color. It's by the same manufacturer, Sanyo. Uh, and the layout's identical. The part numbers are all the same on the PC board. Um, the label, all these components are the same. And it's all wired the same way. There's no difference there. And I double checked my wiring, it's all correct. So what I've been doing is I've actually, and, uh, and this is actually what it looks like when there's no corrosion. This battery has absolutely no corrosion except for the very, very end. But you can see this is what it's supposed to look like compared to, this is the uh, original one here. And you can see where the, some of the silver, uh, the copper kind of got ate up there, but I cleaned it up. And we'll get this out of the way there. And we'll get these cases out of the way. So I noticed on this here, I was doing some power readings. And let me get my battery here and try and get this to where we can do them here. I'm trying to, hang on here guys. Just trying to get this situated here. There we go, all right. Get it all in here, all right. Get it as close as I can here. Okay, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you the differences here. And when I meter the one that we did, get my meter here, uh, right there, okay. And let me get this. Let's try this here a little differently here. Actually, here, let's put the meter over here. You see it over there? Yeah, there we go, we can see it there. Okay, so this is the uh, plus side of things here, okay? So there's the plus, here's the minus, and you can see we're reading full voltage. If I go to the next terminal, basically the same thing, just a, a, a slight drop. Well, it's, it's, it's basically the same thing. And uh, each terminal, I get power readings. 
Now this one, it does have about a half volt charge on it because this will charge a little bit, but it gets really hot. So I, the and be, reason being is um, that cell there is starting to leak and that one and that one's starting to leak, but no, no I mean, no corrosion at all though. It's, it, I mean, it looks like new. But when I measure this one, and like I said, you look at the meter there, and you're gonna see we almost have a, a half a volt there, okay? But when I go to the next terminal, next terminal, next terminal, actually, let me just do something. So right here, yeah, got just a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, just hardly, hardly anything. And of course, you get the full power here. If I go over here on the minus side over here, that reads the same too. I go to these components. It's like this thermal, one way, uh, non resettable. I call them a circuit breaker, but they're, uh, they're called. Uh, see, and you see here, don't have anything. Okay, and I, if I measure that one, same thing. I don't get anything on that one. I measure this other thermal protector. Right there's a lead there and a lead there. And again, we're not getting anything there. Okay. Same thing on this one. Not getting anything on that one either. So I'm wondering, my next thing I'm thinking about is, I'm wondering if that board is bad. I had a comment on there that says, what's on there on each side of the board? Well, when I pulled it out, there's, uh, they put some hot glue on the bottom side of this thing to hold it down. And there's a tiny, tiny, it looks like a little cap in there, very tiny. And then there's, like I said, I think it's a transistor. Um, or diode, I, it, three layers, it's probably a transistor. And maybe that's why I'm getting full power on all those terminals, because maybe that transistor's not switching, but I have to verify that's what it is. So I'm wondering if I take, because this one I have to rebuild anyway too. So I'm wondering if I take this off and put on there, if it'll work. And if it does, then that tells me that there's a bad component on here. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to uh, carefully just take this off and um, I might, for ease, I might just unsolder it from the board here. Just pop it off of there, it might be easiest. And um, I might do the same here too. I think it'd just be easier. Rather than trying to tear the pack all apart again here, <clears throat> this one area, I'll be real careful with it because I, I took the, the uh, part that was holding it together off. But anyway, um, well, it sure looks a lot nicer than my work. Huh? That's the way that one looked too, though. It looked real nice like that. But uh, this I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to straighten out. I'm going to re redo that. Uh, I'm going to uh, redo that there. I'm going to make that look a little nicer. So I think that's part of the reason why the case wasn't closing down real good. And then also this one here, we're going to make that look more like that, which that's the way it's supposed to look. So anyway, uh, I think that's what we're going to do. So we're going to do some transplanting now that some of the solder mask is starting to come off of this thing here. And that's uh, basically it uh, protects the uh, circuit board from shorts and stuff and scrapes. I don't have any of that solder mask to put on it, so we just got to be real careful. I might just even put some tape over it because that's better than nothing for sure. So anyway, um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take and we're going to swap the board on this with this one. And uh, that's got to be the only reason why it's not working. Because like I said, these are fine. They don't show an open, so that's good. And um, so yeah, so that's what we're going to do. So we're going to do another video here. We're going to swap it and we're determined to get this battery pack working all right like i said we'll make it look a little nicer too before we put it inside the case and we'll be back in 10 seconds
Okay, and I got the uh, board off of it here, of the uh, 4,000 milliwatt battery pack. And uh, these are the components that are on the bottom of it there. Um, let me zoom in here. So there's a, looks like a tiny little capacitor in there. And then it looks to be, uh, could be a transistor of sort, some type of switching. I don't think it's a diode, but if I pull it out all the way, I could probably read the information on it and tell me exactly what it is. But those are the only two components on the back side of this board here. And then uh, I'm assuming that they probably regulate the, um, I'm assuming probably the, uh, the switching back and forth as far as charging and using it. Um, I'm not sure what the function of it is. Obviously, it had these, goes to these pins here. But anyway, um, I'm going to just do some checks on these pins while I got this out. And then I'm gonna, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put this in the good battery pack. And then uh, we'll get it all hooked up. We'll try it in the computer and see uh, if it sees it. But before that, I'm going to do some voltage readings because I'm curious what these pins are going to tell me on this here. So uh, we'll be back in a minute. All right, guys. So we got the new uh, the board from this pack to this pack now. And you see I kind of I straightened. Let me just zoom in here a little bit. Move this out of the way. So you can kind of see that there a little better. So I straightened that piece out there, made that look a lot nicer. Um, cleaned up the joints a little bit, or reflowed the solder joints, and then um, also uh, got that reconnected there. So, uh, as far as the way the board looks, it looks identical to this one here. Okay, but what I do notice now, when I had the other board, I got voltage readings on all these pins. Now I want to show you. Let's get this here. And all right, and I'll get the meter here so you can see it. Okay, and so uh, just down a little bit. So if I go, this is the plus pin. This is the minus. So we should have full voltage there. Now look, hardly anything. Hardly anything. Basically nothing. Nothing. Or the other one, I got voltage on all those. So. If this does work, then we know it's a problem with the board. It's probably that component right there. And if it is, we'll just have to uh, get the we, the right. You can the writing's on the other side of it. We'll be able to identify it. And I can order another one, change that, and then also this is also uh, that little capacitor in there um, is got uh, that uh, glue on it. So I have to cut that all out. Maybe I can get a, a value on that one and then maybe just order a new one of that one too. So, okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it in the pack, we're gonna put it in the case, and then uh, we're gonna see if it works. All right, so we're gonna try it, see what happens here. And uh, I'm hoping this works. We'll find out. Again, this is gonna be real tight fitting because uh, I don't have this closed down quite a bit. It's better, actually better than it was yesterday because I moved a few things around, but it's gonna be fitting tight in here. So let's see what happens. Still nothing. Well, it's still not working. Um, I bent the contacts, slid it in there all the way. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, go get my other one, stick this battery in there, and see if it uh, boots up in that one. But I'm still pretty sure it's probably the battery. So um, I'll be back just in a minute. Okay, guys. So anyway, I tried it on my other uh, power book up there, and. Uh, it did the same thing, it didn't do anything. So, like I said, I know there's a big difference on the voltage on that, so that board could be an issue and it could be something else going on. So I guess I'll swap out these other two components and uh, maybe it's a combination of a bunch of things. So 
Anyway, uh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to uh, pull some components off the other board, stick on here, and uh, see if we get any life out of it. Okay. So, all right, guys. So, anyway, yeah, hey, I tried even the other case on it. Didn't make any difference. I'm grasping at straws here. So, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to have to do some more research to figure out why it's not working. It's got to be <clears throat> a bad component on here somewhere. But like I said, I changed that uh, board there on this one here, the PC board here. And uh, I made a diff difference on the voltages on here because the other one read 10. So I think this is probably working more correctly than the other one, but I don't know. Uh, what I'm going to have to do is um, I have the other one out. I'm going to have to... Uh, check out the components on here and then see if I can just reorder some new components here and, uh, and there's look there's one two two of them on the back side of this board here I don't see any surface mounted components so and in the and uh, in the, in the contact board looks fine too it's, there's nothing wrong with that either so so that's going to be my next thing is to uh, change out these uh, components on the board. That's the only other thing it can be. So, anyway guys, um, this is gonna wrap it up for today. I uh, appreciate you uh, watching me. Uh, give me a like, um, and also uh, click the subscribe button, and click the bell. And, uh, all right guys, this is Sunday, and you guys have a wonderful weekend, and I'll see you in the next video, bye.